The old AF wanted to know how to whistle. As I said before in elementary school, I couldn't whistle and that sucked. But don't worry, it's actually really easy. All you have to do is just take a whistle and blow. Seriously, who does that? What a jerk. No, that's not it. You don't need that. You can do it all on your own. All you have to do is just take your tongue mm -hmm. and get to fold your tongue into the shape of a whistle, right? So your tongue actually serves the purpose of the whistle. It's almost as if you're folding that cherry stem into a knot, folding itself into a knot. So what you have to do is you have to take your tongue and you have to fold it over, upside down, here I is. Take it and fold it up over a hole. Uh huh. No, no, that's not it either. I lied. It's not easy at all. It took me a whole summer to learn it in elementary school. Basically, I just tried to whistle along to whatever song was on the radio. And it took months for it to work. That's why I don't have a really good answer for you. In every song, I just tried to whistle along. Didn't matter what it was. Slowly, slowly, it started working. It started out with that really airy sound. Eventually, I started hearing just a little bit of noise. And finally... I've never heard the whistle. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Oh, yay! So I actually learned how to whistle three different ways. There's the standard whistle, where your tongue is really close to your lips. This other whistle, it's actually the first whistle I learned. It's where your tongue is a little further back. It's kind of got that ghostly eeriness to it. And just for fun, just to impress all of the friends, you can hum and whistle at the same time. <laughs> Sounds like a droid. I'm sure you learned tons from this, so if you want to learn anything else, just let me know. Oh, I'm, I'm sick. I got a cold. If you couldn't.